in this module we will be discussing the class reptilia uh, actually they were the first successful uh, terrestrial vertebrates and about the origin of uh, reptiles they flourished during the mesozoic uh, era which is the era of triassic jurassic and cretaceous period and the climate which had been uh, useful for reptilian in that period became less favorable to them in tertiary period and uh, uh, so most of them became extinct so the present day reptiles are 4 out of 12 uh, that lived in the past or and the reptiles of today have actually derived from the dinosaurs of uh, jurassic and uh, cretaceous period this jurassic and cretaceous period and now we will see some of the key characteristics of the reptiles uh, which they evolved to uh, live more successfully on land they have uh, amniotic eggs uh, we will see the whole uh, structure of the amniotic egg which has certain uh, layers and it has offers different advantages each uh, layer has different function uh, for example we will see here that uh, this layer uh, is actually uh, known as chorion and uh, it is just beneath the porous shell and it allows respiratory gases to pass through uh, but it, uh, at the same time it uh, retains water within the egg and then we can see here that there is a layer which is called as amnion it encases the developing embryo within a fluid filled uh, cavity and then we have a, a yolk sac it actually provides food from the yolk for the embryo uh, via the blood vessels connecting uh, to the embryo's gut and then we have uh, this layer which is allantois and uh, it surrounds a cavity into which the waste products from embryos are excreted so uh, these uh, these reptiles are, are known as amniotes as they have a uh, amniotic eggs and then the other key feature is that they have a, a dry skin uh, actually the skin of uh, amphibian was kept moist because they have to undergo the cutaneous uh, respiration while in case of uh, reptiles they have uh, a dry skin because they have to prevent water loss uh, they are away they are no more dependent on water and they are to it, uh, totally uh, land dwelling uh, organisms or animals that is why they have a uh, dry skin and uh, they may also have uh, uh, scales uh, for uh, extra protection uh, of the inner uh, moisture content and then they have a circulatory system which is more advanced than that of uh, fishes and uh, than that of uh, amphibians actually uh, there there is a septum between the uh, ventricle this ventricle uh, in most of the reptiles uh, but uh, in crocodiles they have a totally partitioned ventricle uh, meaning thereby they have a right atrium a left atrium and then they have a ventricle in most of the cases and ventricle is uh, connected uh, with the help of uh, 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 septa uh, but in case of a uh, crocodile uh, they have um, a totally partition uh, ventricle and then they are ectothermic and they are poikilotherms uh, meaning thereby they can uh, alter uh, their uh, tem body temperature uh, with the outside temp uh, taking in a view of the outside temperature so that is why they hibernate or they uh, live uh, or they go inside or uh, they escape in the winters switching to the internal anatomy of reptiles uh, we can see here that they have slightly more advanced uh, structures than uh, the, those of amphibians we can see here the presence of uh, lungs and the digestive system is more developed consisting of stomach pancreas liver and intestines now we can see the examples of uh, today's reptiles uh, which comprises of turtle uh, lizards and snakes and toeteras are examples of uh, reptiles so we can note that they are more uh, developed than those of uh, amphibians uh, they have developed or they have uh, improved certain innovations which were first seen in amphibians for example uh, legs, uh, legs were arranged to support the body weight more effectively than amphibians and um, even they can run and uh, then lungs and hearts were altered to make them more efficient and then we have observed that they have a skin which was covered with dry plates or scales which was meant to minimize water loss and their eggs were encased in uh, watertight covers so that is all about class reptilia